Okay, imagine this. It's a Sunday night, it's been a long week, and you just want to sit down to relax and watch, I don't know, the latest Communimate video, because you're a cool person. So, you make your way to your living room, flick on the TV, then sit down on your armchair. Except, when you sit down, it doesn't feel quite right. It feels strange, fleshy. Then you feel a light, warm breeze creep up between your thighs and... Oh god, that's not a chair. That's not a chair. It's a... person. Then you look at yourself. And... And... You're the chair! Hey, what's up, guys? Y'all read the title. I asked artists in my server to come up with ways they could switch up humans and animals, or everyday objects, to create a disturbing scene. Cause y'all know I'm all about that spooky scary stuff. For example, a toothbrush using a tiny human to brush their bristles. Yeah, that's in the realm of possibility here. I was not ready for what you guys came up with. <laughs> Switching it up first with basketballs. Seems like they're having fun with their blank, remorseless stares. And the poor man's over there like, Ah, why? Help. Pretty sure if you were being dribbled around all over the court, you wouldn't be able to say anything. You'd be like, <laughs> Oh my Jesus. Welcome to the fish market, buddy. I'm gonna chop you up into little pieces. <laughs> <laughs> That's smart. A fridge looking for food in a person. <laughs> Except, the human body probably wouldn't do a good job at keeping your food cold. Everything would be warm and moist instead. Ugh. Now, what if radios listen to humans? Uh... <laughs> Boy, I sure love music nowadays. That poor man. No, that's that's making me feel bad for my vacuum cleaner now, and what I have to put him through. <laughs> Boy. Now this is a three-way. You've got a bullet using a person to shoot guns, entire entire guns. Where are these guns coming from? You know, I, I'm not even gonna ask questions that make sense anymore with these drawings, because these inherently don't make sense to begin with. Oh my... Human meat grinder. I thought I felt bad for the last guy, but this? Ye ouch. I mean, look at him. Yeah, I know he doesn't look flattering, but you wouldn't look any different if you were regurgitating a hundred ounces of ground beef. <laughs> I love- th I love how you got this man who is absolutely suffering, and you got this dopey looking grinder going, <laughs> I got you now. Now you'll know how it feels to have meat inside you. Pack says, what if fast food was replaced? And we got a human burger eating- eating a- Tiny person, I think, and... <laughs> that is disturbing. The lettuce, the lettuce teeth, oh my goodness. And the cheese is the tongue and the lips are the, are the meat in. I don't even want to look at that anymore. Oh, you drew more? Oh my, oh! I don't want to look at this, nope. Oh, I'm loving it, of course. I don't know what to say, man. Yeah, it's rather bizarre. Bizarre? Really? That's what you have to say for yourself? I give this a D for don't ever draw this again. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> it's a cross holding up a person as a cross. It's like, be gone, foul beast! Yeah, I'm protecting you. Oh, it's... It's a painting going to an art gallery to admire a human being pinned to a wall instead. Uh, and of course you don't get it. It's modernism. You wouldn't understand. And on the topic of art, holy moly, it's a drawing tablet drawing on this decaying corpse. Is he... is he alive? It, oh, he's, he's got a plug in his mouth. What is it? Where is it plugged into? I... I... 
And he's got a picture of, the, of his little baby tablets in the background. Oh my goodness. Now this is what I meant when I said disturbing. <laughs> Y'all are putting people through hell, aren't you guys? And look at that derpy car face. Oh, what is that face? He looks so pleased with himself. And the suffering he is inflicting on this poor person. I mean, don't cars weigh like two tons or something? The fact that this man has not completely shattered every one of his bones is an absolute miracle. Ah, what a nice game of human pong. Yeah, looks like tons of fun. And since nobody asked, he also made a bloody version. Yikes. <laughs> well, that's pretty creative. At our movie theaters, you don't eat the popcorn. Popcorn eats you. And you won't even get to enjoy the movie, because, well, you're dead. Oh, of course the idea of a human kite is as depressing as it looks. Oh my god, uh, the s human soap. Yes, sir, Bob, just your happy-go-lucky soap washing its hands with your blood and entrails. That man is dead, right? Please tell me he's dead and not alive to feel every pump of your- No, no, I I'm done. I'm, done. I'm not gonna look at these anymore. Y'all are sick! <laughs> Oh, crumbs! A human! Die!